Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, we are still in the mood of prayer. Let's begin to appreciate the Lord for the grace He's given us to see a brand new day. Let's thank Him for His divine protection. Let's thank Him for guiding us all through the night and our entire family. Prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Almighty, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, our Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, Lord, Lord Father, we take it from our Lord, we appreciate you, Lord Father, Lord, in the name of the night, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Father, Lord Father, Lord, 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 Lord, Father, 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 Lord,
authority over every foul spirit every spirit that is not of the holy spirit wherever they are connected with us this moment let's pray that the fire of the holy ghost will begin to disconnect them and let's soak this mountain and all our devices all our homes with the precious blood of jesus christ in jesus name Amen. Then let us commit as we have come to the presence of the most high God. Let us say that we take over our soul, spirit, and body. The Holy Spirit will vitalize our mortal bodies that even as we have come in, into his presence, every flesh, every canality will die and we will function in spirit and in spirit to the glory of the most high God in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord of my Lord, 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 and then let us pray for as many souls that are lost, as many that have not received salvation, as many that are Muslim, that are Buddhist, Hindus out there. Let's pray that the Lord. We have mercy upon them and grant them salvation and repentance in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Papa, I read them for my father I let us pray that as we have come into the holy presence of the most high God that we will not go back the same the Lord God Almighty will do that which him alone can do in our life and take his glory in Jesus mighty name 
and as we have all prayed, so shall it be in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Of the Most High God, I declare the service open in Jesus Christ's mighty name as we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are called to worship, please. What to worship is taken from the book of Psalms 11, please. I read. In thee, Lord, put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? Number two, please. Oh, no. Hello, oh, no. the wicked, the diabolical, the arrow upon the arrow and they may privately shoot at his heart. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Number four, please. The Lord is in the holy temple. The Lord is in the holy temple. The Lord is in the holy The Lord try the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loveth violent has so hated. He so hated. Number six, please. Fire and horrible Number seven together, please. Take number six. He said, Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, brickstone, and all and hot and, and horrible tempests. This shall be the cup of, of their cup. And I pray that all the wickedness that are gathered themselves together, that thought the wickedness in the writing, may the Lord pour his fire, pour his brickstone upon them in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise, praise, Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Then it's time for our praise and worship. Let us pray. Our most heavenly Father, the King of all kings, the Lord of all earth, Father, we thank you. We give you all that glory. Father, we adore you. You are worthy of our praise. Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for another opportunity granted to us, Lord Jesus. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, come and wear us, O Lord, this morning the garment of praise and worship. Have mercy upon us, O Lord Jesus Christ. Direct us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. We are on on the Lord's side, we will never give up. We are overcome. For the Lord God is on our side. Hallelujah. We are. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, on the Lord's side, we, 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 we,
Yes, we will. By His grace, we will never give up. We are. Yes, we are. Oh, 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 oh. By His grace, we are overcomers. For Thy love. God is Lord, you are good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are beautiful. Almighty God. You are good. You are good. Thank you, Lord. You are God. so good father you are so kind jesus christ you are beautiful almighty god you are good you are Everybody is 
Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have praise and worship. Amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Yeah. 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 It's time for our prayer guide. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, everlasting King of Glory, Father, we thank you. We worship you. Father, we thank you for whom you are. Father, we thank you for the opportunity given to us to gather in your presence right now. It's not by our own doing, Lord, it's by your mercy and grace. Lord Jesus, Father, you say, as it shall be given. Daddy, we have come, O oh Lord, to bring our prayer request before you. Father, we pray, Lord, in your mercy. As we open our mouth, begin to pray this prayer, Father, please may our prayer receive spirit answer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our Father, we pray for mercy, Lord, you have any sin in us, O oh Lord, that we hinder this prayer. Father, please pour just and kiss us, O oh Lord, with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba, Amen. Father, in Amen. Jesus Christ. Mighty name. Lover, please, we are moving down to our Thanksgiving prayer number 20, and the Bible reading is taken from 1 John 3, verse 15. 1 John 3, verse 15, I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Whoever hated his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer had eternal life abiding in him. Amen. 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 Please, the prayer go like this. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for displacing the spirit of murder in our lives in Jesus. 
Christ's mighty name. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Father, in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. to our attention prayer number 21. I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even until now. Amen. 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 Please, the prayer go like this. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for exposing the spirit of hatred that came to turn off the light of God in our lives in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. And are in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for exposing the spirit of hatred that to turn off the light of God in our lives in the name, in the mind Please, we are moving down to mercy prayer. Mercy prayer number 22. The Bible reading is taken from 2 Timothy 2, verse 26. Second Timothy 2, verse 26, I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Amen. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, yes. ma'am. Uh, please, the mercy prayer go like this. Please have mercy on me, Lord Jesus. In any way, I have settled for the life that the enemy has subjected my family and I to. Please free us from this negative state of life. In Jesus Christ's merciful name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, please have mercy on me, Lord Jesus. In any way, we have sent you for the lives that the enemy have subjected our family and I. Please free us from this negative state of life in Jesus Christ. Merciful name. Love please. We are moving down to our mercy prayer number twenty-three. The Bible reading is taken from Psalm eight nine verse forty-five. I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. The days, the days of his youth has thou shortened. Thou has covered him with shame. Amen. 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 Prayer go like this. Lord Jesus, please have mercy on the youths of this generation so that they so that they will not be cut off too early in life in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, please have mercy on the youth of this generation that they will not be cut off too early in life in Jesus Christ's mercy. Amen. 
Behold, I come quickly. Bless it the bless it that keepeth the saints of the prophecy of this book. Amen. 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 Yes, gracious Father, I receive the grace to continuously keep the prophecy of the word of God till Jesus Christ comes in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Jesus Father, I receive the of the word of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, my precious Father, I receive the Father, I receive the grace to continually the word of God, Jesus Christ, come Jesus Christ, my precious Amen. Our general prayer number one hundred and eight, and the Bible reading is taken from Revelation twenty-two, verse eleven. I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, please grant us and all the true children of God all over the world the sufficient grace to be holy and righteous unto eternity in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, please grant us and all the children of God all over the world. Jesus Christ, Jesus Lord, in the name of Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. Thank you for answering our prayer. We say, may your name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. I Amen. Amen. The precious blood of Jesus. As we have prayed, so shall it be in Jesus' Christ's mighty name. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Reading by the special grace of God. Thank you. Mal. It's time for a Bible reading. And the Bible reading is taken uh, from the book of Luke, chapter 17. Luke, chapter 17. I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Verse 1. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible for that offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. Two, it were better for him that a my son were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Three, take heed to yourself. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. Four, and if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, 
and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Five. And the apostle said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Amen. Six. And the Lord said, if ye, if ye have faith as a green mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamore, sycamore tree, Be thou plugged up by the roots, and be thou planted in the sea, and, and it shall be obey you, and it shall obey you. Seven. But which of you, having a servant plowing of feeding cattle, will say unto him by, by and by, when he is come from the feed, go and sit down to meet it. And will not rather say unto him, make ready wherewith I may serve, I greet my, thyself, and serve me till I have eaten and drunk, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. Nine. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I true not. Ten. So likewise you, when ye shall have done all those things which I commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Verse 11. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee, verse 12. And as he entered into a, a certain village, there met him 10 men that were lepers, which stood afar off, verse 13. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, verse 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go shoe thyselves, shoe yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. Verse 15. And one of them, when he saw what, that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Amen. Verse 16. And fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and was a Samaritan. 17. And Jesus answered, said, We are there not ten cleansed, but we are at the nine, eighteen. There are not found that return to glorify, to glory to God, save this stranger. 19. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. 20. And when he was demanded, of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Amen. Sister Maria. I think we see security. Can I go, please? Can you run? Neither shall they say, No, here. O Lord, there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. 22. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see. 23. And they shall say to you, See here or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. 24. For as the lightning that light it out of the one part under heaven, shine it unto the other part under heaven heaven so shall also the son of man be in this in his day 25 but first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation 26 and as it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man 27 they did eat and they did eat they drank and married wives they they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. 28. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sowed, they planted, they builded. Number 29. But the same day that Lot went out of the Sodom, it it rained fire and brimstone from heaven 
and destroy them all. 30. Evil thoughts shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Thirty one. In that day, he which was in that day, he which shall be upon the hot top and his and his soft is in the house let him not come down to take it away and he that is in the field let him likewise not return back 32 remember lot wife 33 whatsoever shall whosoever shall seek to save, save his life shall lose it and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it 34 i tell you in that night there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. 35. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. 36. Two men shall be in a field. The one shall be taken and the other left. 37. The last verse. And they answered and said unto him, We are Lord. We are Lord. And he said unto them, Whosoever, wheresoever the body is, Tita will he with the eagles be gathered together. May the Almighty God bless his word in our heart and make it prosperous in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Oh, oh, bless you, Tazaya, and everyone who has been so far. God bless you, Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Amen. I have a God who has a I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. America never fails. Forevermore, I have a God who never fails. I have a God who I have a God who never I 
God I'm serving, if you are, serving for your life. But if God you are serving is not the one who died and resurrected again, then you better go now. God you are serving is the one you can put in one pocket. Come out and talk, you better change now. The God who, when fire is born in the house, you'll be saving your God and saving yourself. Better. Now I come to the God that I serve, the creator of all things, the God that everything is subject to, the God who fight the battles of his children, not the children fighting for him. As the God that Sarah used to say those days, whose people fight for. But the God we serve is the God that fight our battle, I mean his battle. In our lives. Before I, um, the grace of God give the word of presentation, I had the revelation which get me thinking, make me fear, make me happy, put me at the center of, of, of almost everything. To some people, it might not mean anything, but to me, it means a lot to me. I saw so many of us, and some other people too, Christians, we are giving our work to do. Like in a, it's like a bush. We're saying everybody has his own portion. Clear. I saw some of our sisters. Everybody, you will just know where your portion is. Some of our sisters were walking, clearing. Myself, I was also, no, there was a supervisor that I was, I was not the supervisor. I was also having my own portion. I was clearing. Some of, many of us here, some, of, some people were clearing joyfully. Some people were saying, how, how do we, how can we be this one now? And I even saw, see, see a sister here, among us here. Why she was clearing her own? She was using one time to still join me to clear. Say, hey. Some people were just walking. Some people, some people were just complaining. This is too much. Why some people were saying this is too much? Some people were just doing it with all their heart. I was walking and observing. What that surprised me? Where we all were walking. All of a sudden, that bush were clearly that some people were complaining, some people were walking. It became a, I, I have never seen such a, a, I have never seen such a thing before. It became, the bush just vanished away. Everywhere became so beautiful. Very white. We was, what happened? How come? Very beautiful, very white. And I heard in my spirit, there's no work I have given you that I have not done already. 
you can see those people that were complaining. What would they say again now? Okay, those who are complaining say the work is too much. What would they say now? Those who are using all their heart to be working, they can see now that it's, well, there's nothing I give you to do that I'm not done. I said, God. And what now make me I go that I was also among people that was doing it with joy. I was not complaining. I was just doing it. And one of our sisters here, she's here, she's looking at me now. She was doing a whole thing, joining me. But I didn't, I didn't let her know that I saw her doing it. She had not finished her own. She was still doing my own. And it's all, the portion was almost all, the, all the, the same. Everybody were giving the same portion. It's only one man that was just controlling everything. All of a sudden, the bush vanished. And it became a place desire to live in. If I say, hey, Muna, am I, am I, am I as Jared? But the place is a place. Whoever watched uh, this uh, television, you know, where people will, will wear sort of like rolling shoes, they'll put their hand on the back, be doing like this. The, like, like a sport. I don't know if, if you were watch that, watch that thing. It's not snow skater. It's um, <laughs> snow Is it not skin? Oh. You put your hand at the back. The, 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 yeah. Just at, hey, just at that place be. It's how the place was. Very glittery. Be everywhere beautiful. I, said, ah. I, I look at this sister. She look at me. So people from other places too, I don't, I don't know those ones, but I know most of us on the mountain here. What happened? And I heard my spirit. You see why you should not complain? There's no work I've, give, I've, I've given you that I have not finished. I have not done already. So now, those of you who are complaining now, they were not hearing, it's only me that said I was hearing. Those of you who are, who are complaining now, what will you say now? Revelation does not make me too happy, does not make me sad. It got me thinking. Many things were just, it was just as I was, it was just happening in my brain. Say, God, what is this? So I believe the Lord is, have used it to encourage me, to also encourage some of us here, if not everybody. Whatever. God has given you to do. Please do it with all your heart. Don't ask him for strength. Ask him for, I'm not saying only on this, but people are hearing me from Facebook, anywhere at all. Whatever God has given you to do, please joyfully do it for him. The one you can do. Now I could understand, God is not really concerned about you are able to finish everything. It's concerned about the little one you do. Do it well. The one you are doing at that time, choose all your heart to do it. That's what I saw about that woman. Do you want see right now? That was working beside my own. She was even more joyful more than me. Said, what kind of woman is this? You are not, you are just, I'm not, she was not busybody. No. She was just at it with all her heart doing it. I, I said, God. So please, I want to beg myself. I am encouraged, and I'm, it encouraged me. It made me fear again. It made me fear God again. It encouraged me to do more, and it's making it, many things are happening on my head. So please, whatever God gives to you to do, the least two you can do. Do it wholeheartedly. Take man away. In that revelation, I, everybody was in their position. Now make me to realize that's how I am running my race. I was not a supervisor there. You were not a supervisor. You were just on your own. I was on my own. And all of a sudden, things changed. What about when things will change on the last day? Where will you be? 
then all of a sudden, the Lord take the work away from your hand. It, no matter what you are doing, now, it will surely take it away from your hand one day. You will not do it forever. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. A day is coming, you will take that job away from your hands. And when the job is no more there again, the job you have been doing complaining is no more there. It has been taken away from you. What will you not do now? What will you not do? No more job for you to do again now. It is over. What will you not do? What about if you are not doing it well? You want to come and do it again? No way. But if you are doing it well, and the Lord not take the cross of that work away from you, you now see that ah, where you are now is a place where you will never ever that place. You will, you there is no work to do again. When it is changed, there is no there is no work to do again. Everywhere was was so beautiful, no stain. Everywhere was glittery. No more job again. And with that, I have hope that a time is coming where I will have nothing to do anymore. It make me have hope that a time is coming that all of a sudden, everything will change. Suddenly. It did not change, maybe little by little. All of a sudden, we all saw that where we, we are now was not the place we were before. That make me to understand that maybe I'll say, in the twinkling of our eyes, things will change. That's how it's going to be. In a trick of an eye, we start. You don't have any job to do again. Those who are complaining into it, you find out that what you are complaining for have been taken from you. What will you not do? And those who are dreadfully doing it, like that sister and some other people, so many people were done. So many people, not many people were doing it, and some people were also grumbling. At that moment, what will you not do? I saw some people were just, hey, hey, hey. Some people were just, there was confusion somehow. There were joy somehow. Everybody were just thinking. The head of everybody was just with something. But the joy I had was that though the portion was, was somehow hard, so like bush, there was, inside the bush, there was a, you know, they cut trees, trees that fall. You, you will clear and pass the trees. You cannot order very, it's like so difficult. But in that difficult place, some people were still struggling, clearing, packing it away, clearing, packing it away. That makes me to understand the work of God we're doing is not an easy one. But you can actually able, you can make it easy for yourself. Mindset. Praise the Lord. The things of the Lord are not easy, but you can be able to make it easy for yourself, your mind. The same place that people were crumbling, some people were still able to be happy there. That's why on the last day, no excuse. Among us here, there are witness, there are clear witness among us. Among the choristers there. Why some people are globally, some people are cloud of witnesses, they too. Among the ministers, among whatever you're doing, that God is, God is, God is God. Among you, that is the same place, you say, where it's not the same place you get that this person was. As I'm talking now, it's giving me more, more explanation of what I saw. Inside of you, that is where it also bring a cloud of witnesses away from you to tell you, see, 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 see. So I pray for myself that God will help me. Now I know, <laughs> praise mm -hmm. of God, you don't have, <laughs> you know, sometimes when God reveals some things, if you don't understand, you might even be fighting that when God said, uh, I'm the watchman, when the pastor told me, yeah, you can see my face that day. I say, has God destroyed me now? What have I done? I was not looking for scripture. Even even he said, was saying, even the sister, I also look for scripture to tell her that uh, since God appointed so so person. 
I said, in my hand, sister, go, you're, you're, you're on my side. And that's okay. I should call the sister to, to talk to her. I say, I will not call you to. And I call her now. I start saying what I don't know to even make her, I will, I will make her angry. But in my heart, I will say, God, what is this? Does it mean I am not, I am not a watchman? Does it mean you have gone to tell that sister that you have, you have betrayed me? What have I done? What, what is the matter? Until not too long ago, told me, yes, I am actually the watchman. I said, do not watch over the city. The watchman watch in vain. I, I watch over you and everybody you think you're watching over. You are, you are just like a gate man in my house. I own the house. I watch over my house. There's no way a, a slave or a, a, gardener, a gardener you bring to the house will watch over your house more than you. Though you bring a, a person to be watching, you must, your eyes must still be open to make sure you are watching over the person and over your, over your own house. I said, God, <sighs> thank you, Lord. And this one makes me to start again that we have only one supervisor. We all are being supervised by God is God Himself. So I pray when the local call shall come, when they shall be called the call, come give account of yourself. You and I be able to give, as I always pray, a perfect account to the Lord, account that have no no memory, no complaint, but joyfully done in Jesus Christ's mighty name. A, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, that is that. We have a message from the Lord this morning. I want to pray, you, Father. I know you have spoken to me. Please speak to me more. I'm never tired of hearing from you. Talk to me in the language I will understand in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, my God, I come before you this morning. Father, I pray you will speak to me in the language I will understand. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let your word that will come forth, let it speak to my very direction. Let your word be my let your word strengthen me. Let your word empower me to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Holy Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship you. We thank you because you know what your children are going through. You always know what to reveal, what to say to comfort your children. To make your children know that there's time for everything. It's time to walk. It's time to rest. Thank you because you know, you are here to comfort us again. You are here to speak to me and to speak through me. God, please have mercy upon my soul. Anyway, I've sinned against you, Lord, make to find me worthy to speak through. To my sister, mercy that you are about to speak to. Show us all mercy to the end that we all will hear you. And be blessed by you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, your word says, Sure, let's an end. For your expectation to us will not be cut off. Lord, please let the Holy Spirit take over and do his work in our lives in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. But then, up to time, the Lord always have a time for somebody. Lord say, I've made up, made up my mind that by this time next year, I will bless so, so, so of my son or my daughter. And uh, the Lord will expect that child to position his or herself for that time. God never fail in whatever he say he will do. It's set time for everything, but the Question to me and you is that are we always set for the set time? Are you set for God's set time for you? That is the problem. 
whenever God says, I will come and bless you, there's a location for that blessing. You must be at that location. You must be set for God's set time concerning your life. Yes, you will be praying and praying. It will come and pass, come and pass. Say, God, why this delay? There is no delay. You are the one that is not set for your set time or not positioned for your set time that God has set to position you in that position. But the message you have this morning is God has a set time for you. God has a set time for me. I said before, when the Lord has a set time for somebody, that person should be set for that set time. When the Lord has a position for somebody, and there's a set time for that position, that person must be positioned for that set time of position. Uh, yes, that's, the other day, man of God showed me a clip. A Christian clip. This young man was loved by this governor. And this governor had a set time to bless this young man. Call this young man to the, to the office and tell this young man, I have seen you. You are so vocal. You are so. You really pray this, this, this young man. And this governor had in mind to give this, child, this young man a, a, a wonderful position in the office. Now, ask the young man, how did you come here? After all the praise, how did you come here? He said, a bike man brought me. Dang. So you know what? They are going to stay with me for some time. So the bike man has to go. Take this 100,000 naira. Give it to the bike man. Tell the bike man to go. And he took the 100,000 naira. As he got there, he gave the bike man 5,000 naira. And pocket 95,000. You see how this boy was not positioned for his own position. And he came back. He said, Have you given him? He said, Yes, I'll give him. This governor now called a police, the police people on duty where this guy will follow. He said, There's a bike man coming. Stop the bike man. Search him to know how much is with him. And as this bike man was coming, they stopped me. How much do you have with you? Where is the hundred thousand that will give it to you? You can say, Me. Hundred thousand. He said, Yes, what? Where is that hundred thousand that will give it to you? He said, I don't have hundred thousand. They were beating the man to make it real for to him. And they searched this man. See, it's only five thousand that somebody gave to me today. They said this man, they met only five thousand. This man, this man pocket. They brought the man back to the governor. As the man came back, as the young boy saw, so they said, ah, What is this? He said, Hey, how much did you say you gave to this boy today? He said, eh, I gave him. Eh, oh, eh, I, he said, Ah, okay. You, how much did you, this, boy, this boy gave to you? He said, He gave me 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira. He said, You gave me 5,000 naira? He said, Yes, I'm sorry. Forgive me. See, 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 look at yourself. That was a trial for you. You see why? How you are not positioned in your position. I just tried you to know if you can be able to handle big money, big, big contract I want to give to you. If you cannot handle 100,000 naira, how can you handle millions? I wanted to come into your hands. I opened myself, God, what is this? That is how many of us are not positioned with the position that God wants to give to us. It's how the Lord will give a set time. This is what I want to do for my daughter, my so 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 name. And at that day, a little trial will just come. And if your mind is not positioned for that position, you will just miss it. God can try you with, many, with anything. 
half to time, we have missed God's position in our lives. Half to time, we are what we have been praying about. Oh God, we are calling Pastor, Pastor Jeremy, Pepper Jeremy. It has come and gone many times. Almost to you. Maybe at that time, the Lord want to come and bless you. It will do you little thing to trigger you to know how you will react. And the angel will just be there to, and as you that, I will say, no, no, no. <laughs> she has failed. Oh, she has failed again. Oh, he has failed again. You have to wait for another seven years again, or another seven weeks again, or another 14 years again for that same thing. You pray and pray and pray, the prayer of the men of God are not working. No, 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 no. It's not a prayer. You are the one not working. You are the one that has not positioned yourself for the position. You are the one that has not set yourself for the set time of God concerning your life. That clip made me think, how often time has God tried me now? And I failed. And I pray again and again. God has a set time for you. But do you have a set time for God's set time for your life? It's a question. The Bible told us in Exodus chapter 9, from verse 4 to 6, the and the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt, and there shall not it die of all that is the children of Israel. Verse 5. And the Lord appointed a set time. It's nothing God does that you don't have time for. Anything God will do for you, there's a set time for it. That's why you will always pray, Father, position me well for God appointed time for my life. Lord, make me set for that set time. Lord, position my mind. Position everything about me for that set time. When the day the Lord will visit my family, may he not make me, meet me and my wife accordingly. That's why you must always do. Be the peacemaker in your house. Your husband may be thinking ah, you, are, you are foolish. Your wife may be thinking you are foolish. That's why I'm no, you are not foolish. Because you don't know the day of God's visitation. Always be the one to make peace between you and your friend. God, you don't know the day God will visit you. It's a same time. It may be the day that your friend who always wants to make a quarrel will trigger you. And I don't think God will ever bless somebody that he meets quarreling. That's why the Bible says, make be at peace with all men. Because you don't know the day the Lord will come for you. Our Lord is a peace, peaceful God. And if you want to come and meet you, it will meet you in a state of peace. And if at that moment you are not met at the state, the, the God that is coming for you, don't want, it's not, it, the, 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 the position that God expects you to be positioned, if he doesn't meet you there, you are just this, it will go back again. So, my advice for myself is Emmanuel. Always position yourself at any time for God's decision. Make sure you and everybody around you are in peace because you don't know where God will visit you. He says, And the Lord appointed a set time. I ask you, Sister Esosa, Sister Blessed Ego, what is God appointed for your life? Do you know it? Please, can you answer me? Which one I don't know. When did God appoint it for your life? You know it? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Since you don't know it, position yourself for it anytime. Let your mind be positioned anytime because you don't know when your day will come. As you and I don't know where right will come, you don't know the day of God's visitation. Let me say this. There is a difference between God speak to you and God visit you. You hear that? There is different. God can be speak to you every day, but you have a day to visit you. 
It's like now, I can be calling, calling Sister Susan. Hey, how are you, man? God bless you, man. But me visiting her, I mean, calling her, calling her is different. Thing. That is how it is for God. God can be talking to you only every time, but his visitation, there's a better time for it. So, since you don't know the day, God will walk into your home. Put your home in order every time. Since you don't know when God will come and do that thing you have been crying for, please put yourself in order every day. That's why I love that Job 40, 40. Say, all the days of my appointment, will I wait until my change come? What is that wait? Will I position myself? Not just wait, okay, I wait. Let, no. Meaning, will I position myself? This is a holy God that will visit me. Let me make myself holy for him. Since you and I know that in Matthew 7, verse 6, say, give not that which is holy to the dog, and cast not your spirit to the strength, else they will trample under it and and what tear you apart? Since you know what you are expecting is from the Holy God, position yourself in holiness all the time. Search your heart all the time. Is there anybody that I have in my heart? Let's just say, if you don't forgive your neighbor, your father in heaven will not forgive you. So now, how can God give you, I mean, bless you when he has not forgiven you? Answer me. How can God now visit you now and bless you? When he has not forgiven your sin, no, God will not bless you. Talk your sin, no, it's not done. Because of that, make sure you pour your heart all the time. Make sure you are prepared for God's visitation all the time. Say to heart, do I have any grievous against anybody? Please, Lord, purge me. That's why, as I said before, please, are you moving with anybody? Be the peacemaker inside. You are not foolish. The other one may be, may be say, ah, yes, she's a foolish woman. Uh, uh, because she knows how important I am to him, that's why he always come and beg me. <laughs> he, don't, he don't understand, she don't understand. Let her or he be reporting you. Uh, since I know him, any time is quiet, he will always come and beg me. By next week, I will do it again. If he do it again next week, beg again next week. Are you hearing me? If you do it over and over, back over and over. You know why? Because you don't know when your day of visitation will come. You will not miss your, your set time in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, the Lord shall do this thing in the land. Their own was tomorrow. You and I don't know when go come and do that new thing in my family. I don't know. You don't know when God has said, I will come and do it for you. Since you don't know, prepare your home. Since you don't know, prepare your heart. Since you don't know, position yourself. Praise him all the time. Worship him all the time. In that situation, glorify him. Do everything to love him. Like a woman, you see, I've seen a woman. This man, the husband is a drunkard. If this woman is doing something for, for her husband, you see, ah, the way she, even people, women that their husband is doing everything for, the way this woman cherishes that man, you'll be surprised. This her drunkard husband, the way she respects you, you dare not. Mess around with that man. But all of a sudden, God turns it around. For her and the husband. You will say, ah, because of he, he's a drunkard, he could not give birth. This and that. They were living in Adowa. One day, I went to go and see my uncle. I was just passing by. I saw the woman just sat down. I should say, go and meet her. I say, sister, God bless you. I say, God bless you. I don't even know. I say, the Lord said I should tell you. That thing you have been looking for, 
by this time next year, as I'm coming again, you cry that child. Don't, don't tell my man, you cry that child. She shouted. Say, hey, he sir, of the truth, I've been looking for a child. They say, because my husband is a drunker, he cannot, he cannot, he cannot produce. So what's your husband now? He said, he, he have gone out. I said, how are you? He said, he said, I said that my husband, I value him so much. Oh. I, I don't play with him. Oh. Though he's a, to other people, he's a drunker, but for me, he's my husband. He said, the Lord said, I should tell you, by this time next year, as because of this, I will not visit this, this place again. By this time next year, as I'm coming for visit, visit again, this is two hour, you will carry a, 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 a child. I, after I even forgot, I was in school one day. She called me. No, it was the sister, the sister, the sister that called me. She was shouting. Hey, hey, Brian Manuel. I said, who is this? Mention her name. I, said, I, cannot remember, I cannot remember. I said, do you know what? Last year, you came to Adwawa. I said, yes. I said, do you know that sister you prophesied on that? She will carry a baby. I said, I said, yes, I remember. I said she just gave birth yesterday. I said, she gave birth to a bossy baby boy. I cried, I shouted, I said, God. I did not even remember again. I said, God, is this how you do things? I thought that day I was just I was just on my own. So you were actually the one that, that spoke that day, that manifested. Why am I saying this? She positioned herself for herself. She never knew that day the Lord passed by. You don't know when the Lord passed by. She was just there. She was not fighting the husband. She was not fighting anybody. And what surprised me, on that day, she was not blaming anybody. She did not blame her husband. She only said, the daughter, they said, is because my husband is a drunkard, the whatever, is now watering. Please, sorry if I use that word. She, he cannot, he's like, he put something like that. But it is well. Uh, I, I know God, I know. I believe what God, I don't know. God, I just said. There was nothing like, say, maybe she a uh, witch and wizard, uh, blame anybody. No. Why? She positioned her heart for that day. And uh, God was passing by, not me. Because I uh, bless her. How often have God passed you by? And look at you and say, no, she's not set. He's not set for me. You are crying. You are weeping. God is going and coming, going and coming. And yet, he has not found you worthy to bless you. After time. So please, as the message is going, let me tell you something. It's not about the prophet, it's about you. Prophet can prophesy, but he cannot do it. It's not he cannot do it. It's between you and God. Prophet is only a messenger, he's not a doer. You can be used to go and tell somebody, God said he will bless you. You have done his own. It's not about him. That's why when if after that day they call me or I'll go to go there. To go, I did not go. So it was not me. Okay, let me go and show them. Maybe she must have told the people there. A one of, one man of God came and okay, so that they will know it, it was me. No, it wasn't me. It was between him. I mean, between her and her God. So what has God showed you or told you to do somebody? Please don't blame that person. They are not going to pass. Blame yourself. Because no man have the, so long we are on earth here, no man had the power to do anything. It's only God that power. Man can see it, I tell you, but he cannot do it. To tell you, it was not Elisha that blessed you, not a woman. When the child died, even Elisha did not know. I hope all is well. Say all is well. 
What happens if it was a ledger that gave the child? It would be able to monitor the child to know that the child is there. Are you getting me? So it was only God that know everything that was happening. And let's just start starting up and down. Can I still credit this for you to know man is always man? But glory be to God. The Shunammite woman, she positioned herself. Even when they led, if it was some people here, they first of all insult me. Or insult the man of God. But this woman, she was so calm. Please, let us learn calmness. Very, very important. If I talk to myself, I talk to you. Let us let calmness in every in every situation. Hope is where she she let a dead child. She was still able to comfort herself. He told the man of God, "All is well." The man of God was saying, "Ah, but the way what I hope I hope." But I said, "Yes." The child, see, 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 see. Hey, now I know. Why did God hide this from me? He hide from me because you are not God. Even though you have double portion of Elijah, you cannot be God. No matter how highly a man is, man is man. You are the one to position yourself for God's visitation. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Says, and the Lord did that thing in the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died, but of the cattle of the children of Israel died not. God will always do what he said we do. You have set time for it. That time he must come. Tell God Moses was always set for God. Even though the other Israel, but he that God was always way through. Set. If your husband is not set, please set for him. If your wife is not set, you get set. If all your brethren are not set, please get set. If all the all the children of uh, Israel misbehave, Joseph must not misbehave. Because God has a set time for Joseph. And when God bless Joseph, every other will be blessed. That's why. Don't say, eh, because others are not. No, no, you are not others. Please. Mm -mm. Hey, Abby, yeah. Hey, all my mother's children, uh, Miss Davy, nobody is taking care of my mother. Please, you do it. Everyone have money. Uh, they are even richer than me. It's all just only me that is uh, always giving my money to my parents. Please keep, don't complain. Keep doing it. Hey, everyone, uh, it's only me. Uh, and let it be only you. You are not the rest. You know why? When God will visit you, He will not look at them first. But He can look at them, not to bless you if you became like them. But if He meets you, that you have separated yourself, as Joseph did, He will bless you, and through you, they will all be blessed. That's why I beg myself, I beg you. Always position yourself. Don't look at other people. Don't say other people are not, so you will not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't say other, maybe, uh, and uh, maybe, uh, so there's a prayer we need to pray. Maybe when you were growing up, you see your, your younger ones also insult your parents. Uh, you, you always fear your parents. A time that come, you also join it to insult them. So that you will also say that you are who you are. We go have mercy upon you. Because you, you don't know what God was doing in your life. Is there any of us here? You change because it's so people changing. Is there any of us here? You, you now insulted your father, insulted your mother, you thought you were foolish in the family. All that's were misbehaving. They were making mockery of you. All of a sudden, you still have to change. It's also it's there. You have done evil. What is that thing God placed in your head to do? You were men that were doing it. You were doing your own foolishly. All of a sudden, you will look at others. Say, hey, they are calling me foolish. You also change. May God have mercy upon you because you don't know 
what God was saying about you. May God bless you for me too in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 18, verse 14. Say, is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything, it's a question, sister purity. Is a question, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, at the time appointed, I will return all to thee. What is time? I don't know. This I don't know. I must position myself for the Lord anytime, any day. 365 days of the year, make sure you are expecting him. Make sure you are positioned for God's appointment. See, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. God promised them. Almost 20 years have passed. But God has put a set time for them. So my people, since God is God, your tears will not make it to, to draw down the third time. No, 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 no. When God said next year, if you like hit you out of the ground, <laughs> it will not bring it to this year. You hear me? If you like, let all the pastors in your earth join together to be praying. It will not happen. You have positioned it for that set time. Until that day come, he will not do it. And if you not draw him by force, or you're going to do it the other way, you are in trouble. Now, what has God told you he will do to his time? Now you are enjoying that thing now. <laughs> you're in trouble. You now manipulated yourself. And you are now enjoying it. People are going to trouble. When that day come, this will turn around. You start suffering, you start suffering it. Ah, my daughter, I want you as a youth do my work until you are maybe 30 years you get married. 50 years you jump into marriage. Once you get to that 30 years, wait for the Lord, you will suffer. It's either you will kill that, that man away from your hand or that marriage will scatter. That's why sometimes when, when something happens, don't start praying every demon hell, you, you might be you might be you might be cursing God. You have beat the set time. There are some people here or are there. When you were you, you were born for the Lord. I was like, this is my daughter. I know if she married now. Also, my son, if you married now, there'll be a problem. So I will make you marry at the age of 30 or 35. I want you to use all these traits to do my work. And all of a sudden, 22 years old, we are going to marry. Say, ah, okay. Enjoy. When that set time come for your marriage to have been done, if you open heaven, this is time my daughter is going to marry. And when they now come, she married 20 years ago already. Say, okay. That 20 years that you're married, start suffering for it now. They will roll back the time for you. You start going through to say, what is happening here? That witch in my family. No, 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 it's not witch. You are the one. You have enjoyed that period already. So that period, you will suffer it again now. And if God does not keep your husband for you, I, I thank you for your life, or don't kill your wife. God can take him away, can finish him. That's why sometimes. Some of us past, we are the problem in the life of our, our spouse, unknowing. You see, I am a jealous God. <laughs> I tell you, God can kill her because of you. God can kill your wife. If he's so jealous about you, God really needs to, to use you. And that woman is not talking to you. He can take him away. Can take her away. God can do anything because of whom? He love. That's why I always tell people, please be careful how you love your husband when it comes to God. God when it comes to God, don't ever allow anything to see God love for you. God is a jealous God; He can strike. And again, don't also love yourself more than Him. 
I can also kill you. Because, ah, how God kill you? He said, I am the God that can kill you, can make a life. Little thing, little thing can make us to strike. Say, ah, just this thing, yes, it's a jealous God. And anything God does, he does it in holiness. Now you can ask yourself again now, why am I going through all these things? If you look very well, you will see that it's, the devil has no power over any child that God is working with. It's not possible. It's either somebody has done something that made God to be fighting you, or you have done something that made God to be fighting you, or that made God to allow things to happen. That's why you will always check yourself, does God have interest in me? Anybody that God have interest in, number one, don't make friends too much. Anyone close to you is in trouble with the hand of God. Anyone, I say this again, anyone that God have interest in, please be careful how you make friends. Anyone that is close to you, the eyes of God is on that person. So no, if this is my wife, this is my husband, no, both man and woman, we are all wife to him. I mean, this is my wife. Somebody want to start sleeping with him, please, please be with me. If you are patching around that person to draw his attention from me, if you do not see it, that person is in trouble. So please, does God have interest in you? Be careful how you make friends. Be careful on, in everything. So that God will go not start fighting people because of you. So God will not start punishing people around you because of his interest in your life. Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At time appointed, I will visit you, says the Lord. But how are you prepared for God's appointment in your life? I want you to pray. Lord, from today, help me to be set for your appointed time in my life. Lord, always position me every moment of my life for your visitation. Position my family every moment for your visitation. That my child, you are interested in. Please position her for me. Position her for me. That my sibling, any one in my family that you are interested on, position him. I tell you this as I pray, as I'm talking, be praying, be, talk, be praying to the, please meet your mic, meet your mic as you're praying. Among all your children, the Lord may be interested in one. When God get that one, every other one are free. Lord, Lord, that interest you have for me, that appointment you have for me, position me for it. That appointment you have for my husband, please position him for it. That appointment you have for that my daughter, for that my son, please position him. Position me. Pray that God will position you. That God will make you to be set for your set time for the Lord. It's not ever God that always has the fault. It's me and you. We are the one that are not positioned. We are the one that are not set for our set time. Lord, help keep me set for your set time concerning my life. Please, from now on, I don't want my set time to pass by again. I don't want you to pass me by again. When you shall bring that thing for me, please may my heart be open to receive it. If the Lord is coming and your hands are closed, it will not force to open the hand. Your hand must be open to put it there. Lord, may my hand always be open to receive the gift you have for me and my family. Lord, may my, the door of my family be open for you all the time. May the door of my home be open for you all the time. May I and my family not close the door against you when you are coming. Please, let the door of my family be wet open for your visitation every, every day. Position my family 
for that position you have for us. And when you shall come for it, may we be ready. May we be ready. I shall pray, also pray for this ministry. Lord, position this ministry for your appointment for us. May we all be ready for you every day, every time. May all the pastors, all the ministers, all the apostles, everyone be positioned for your for, for your visitation. Because we don't know when it shall be. Don't be tired in your walk. Don't be tired in praying. Don't be tired. He gets it ready for you don't know when the Lord will come. Don't be tired in waiting. Don't be tired in doing what you are doing. Don't be tired in making God happy for you don't know when your day will come. He may come in the morning he may visit you in the afternoon. He may visit you in the night. You don't know when your day will come. Don't be tired in singing for him. Don't be tired in doing the work he has given you. Don't be tired in making peace with people. For you don't know when your day because he may decide to come for you in the morning. He may decide to come for you in the afternoon. He may decide to come for you in the middle of the night. You don't know when your day shall come. He has appointment with your destiny. The Lord has made appointment with your destiny. Since you don't know when the appointment will be, you better position yourself all the time. He may come for you in the morning. He may come for you in the evening. He may come for you in the middle of the night. But we don't know when the Lord will be seen. Since we don't know, Father, I cannot help myself. Position me. Position me. In that revelation, we never knew things would change suddenly. We never knew where we were working. Things would change suddenly. And suddenly, the work was taken from us. We're not living in a place where there's no work again. I pray on the last day, we all will enter God's kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Both those that were complaining, oh, I saw them, they were, oh, wow, this place is beautiful. Yes, beautiful. The Lord want to come and beautify your home. Are you ready for him to come? That's why when you pray, 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 sit down and let's just say, watch and pray. As you pray, 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 sit down and set yourself again. This thing I'm praying about, our mindset for it. Pray, 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 pray. As you pray, sit down and check yourself again. It, what about if God will answer his prayer now? And he said, he will not give a holy thing to the dog. A mindset for God's holy visitation. Father, make me set all the time. Make me ready all the time. Father, make me ready. Jesus, make me ready, oh. Almighty Father, make me ready. I want to be ready. Oh, Lord, make me ready, yeah. Father, prepare my mind for your visitation. Almighty Father, prepare my home for your visitation. We want to welcome you. The Bible says in Genesis 21 verse 2, keep praying. For Sarah conceived, for a man that got that thing. Put it in there, and you got that thing. And bear Abraham a son, he is 
old age. At the set time, oh my black and ya. At the set time, the document came, the check came, the husband came back. Life became beautiful. The thing was set at the set time. What is that thing you are expecting at the set time? It will surely come. And Sarah Kosit, put your name in there. And Sarah Kosit, in her own age, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter. The Lord will preserve you to do that thing. So long he has said it, believe it, he will do it. He will do it at the same time. What with dinner? I saw a, a, on Facebook an old man, an old woman. The woman was 60, woman 60, 65, 65 years there about. That man should be about 70, 70 or 80 years. John mm -hmm. gave birth. I don't know if some of you have saw this, I've seen it. Some people, some people are writing, uh, mm -hmm. why this time? Uh, who, will not, who, who will not take a picture and say you don't know how to work? The Lord will elongate their life. You don't know God. The gift of God make her riches and added no sorrow. As those children come, He will turn their life. He will make them brand new. He will give them elongated life. He will strengthen them. He will empower them and bless from nowhere, everywhere. From bless will be coming from everywhere. And some people say these people they are so they are too they are so carnal. How will this child, uh, how, how, how many years do they have now? The Bible says, when the Lord blessed Job, the Lord elongated the life of Job. He still saw his children, children. You don't know God. Oh, you join the Father, may I be positioned for that for my for my present time for you. It doesn't matter. When the Lord do it. He will, he will beautify it. He will give you the life that you need to live to be able to enjoy what he has given to you. And Sarah conceived and bear Abraham a son in his old age at the same time of which God has spoken to him. Hey, what is God set time for you? The Lord will do it. Lord will do it. I don't know if it's IVF. All I know is what I saw. God can do it. Sarah gave birth at old age. T today, God is God. God can still make sure to give birth at the age of 80 years. Praise the Lord. God can still make somebody to give birth at the age of 90 years. It's possible. Yeah. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Psalm chapter 102, verse 13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the set time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. The set time has come, but are you there? For God shall arise and favor Zion for the time to favor her has come. Your time has come, but have you come? The place of your visitation, God is there. Are you there? For the same time have come, but where are you? Are you there? Lord, if I am not there, please take me there. Where is that place you want me to be? Take me there. Take me there. What is that state of mind, state of life you want me to be? In your visitation, please, are you waiting for me? Please take me to that state of mind. Take me there. The time to favor Zion has come. Where is Zion? Where is Zion? Your time has come. Where are you? Adam, Adam, you know the time I said to always visit you. I am here again. Adam, where are you? Adam was not hiding. That's why, that's how often time when the Lord come, we meet us hiding. Where is my son Emmanuel? 
Where is my daughter uh, uh, Esther? Your third time has come, but where are you? Come out of that region of quarreling, of envy, of jealousy, of unbelief, and position yourself for God. The station. Mm. You said, if any, if a man die, shall he live again? All the days of the appointed time, will I wait till my church come? Father, grant me the grace to wait for my time. To wait in holiness. To wait in purity. To wait in God's own mindset concerning my life. Not waiting and wasting, no. Waiting and make sure in your waiting period you are glorifying God. I am waiting on the Lord. You are sinning. No, you are not waiting. You are wasting. You are wasting away. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3 For the vision is yet for an appointed time. You hear that? For what the Lord says he will do. Is here for an appointed time, but at the end he shall speak. What is that speaking? He shall be made manifest, he shall come to pass, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Though it linger, the Lord has spoken. God, He has spoken. You know, God, I'm talking about God now. He will surely bring his word to pass. God is not man. His word must surely come to pass. He's not a man. He will never, never lie. God is not a man. His promises must surely come to fulfillment in our lives. He will never, never lie. Never! It may look so dark. It may look so impossible. Say, is there anything too hard for the Lord to do? Nothing. Nothing. Say, wait for it. Because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Say, Father, preserve me for your visitation. Preserve my life. Please, may I not be cut off before your day of visitation comes. Don't allow the enemy to cut me off before your day comes for me. So many people, the Lord said, I will visit the next month. And the devil targeted them. He made a sin today and cut them off. Lord, please preserve me for your coming. May, not, may I and my family not open the door for the enemy to cut your visitation off in my life. If Joseph had fallen into that sin, his own and his family's own would have been finished. If Joseph has slept with that woman, oh God, he have, will have terminated God's appointment in his life and his, his whole family will have suffered. Israel will have suffered all through. Do you see what you and I are doing to our family? Lord, from now on, may I never do anything again that will make your appointment for me to be terminated. Any sin program on my way because the devil knew you are coming for me. Every sin program in my way to either elongate the time again or to even cut it off, to even destroy me before the time. Father, overcome ahead of me. Overcome ahead of me. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father. Father, keep me pure for my day. Keep me holy for my set time. Keep me ready for my set time. Drive every scorpion, every serpent, drive them away far from me. So to say this, some people are in, in your life to, to always elongate your time of God visitation. When they program that is about to happen, they will make you quarrel a little bit. Such people, 
don't be angry with anybody, but please draw a little line, a little bit. I want you to look at people around you. Who is that person? So that we don't try to trigger you. The time you are supposed to search for God, you need to try to, to settle issue again. Then you tell you start begging, then you tell you start doing many things. At that time, your heart is divided. And oh God, please monitor people around you. Don't be don't quarrel with anybody, but use wisdom. Use wisdom. Position yourself in the life of that person to make sure things like that doesn't happen, doesn't happen. So that you don't put yourself in jeopardy. And there are some you have to just cut off. Don't be angry. But Abraham was never angry with Lot. But they have to know pathways. It can be anything. Anything that is an obstacle to God's position in your life, please part away for that thing. There's nothing good enough to give up for God's decision in your life. Nothing. There's nothing that is too much to, to let go for you to make your way back to God. Anything that has to go in our life for God to come in, let it go. Anything that must give way for God to have way to my life, let that be give way now. Anything that must give up in my life for God to make it up to me, give up. Give up. I say it again. Whatever that must give up for me and my God to make it up to, for ourselves, give up. Anything that must give way for God to have way into my life. Give way now. Give way. Easy my character. Give way. You are an enemy to me. The Lord said to Peter, Peter, God has said now, as for now, that spirit in you is an enemy to me. And go back. Whatever that must give way for God to have his way into my life, let that thing give way now. Whatever that must give up in my life, for God to make it up to me, let that thing give up. Surrender. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You have delayed me for too long. The Lord would have done it maybe 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 6 months ago. But because that thing is that position, that God will say, it can never work. It can never work. Who is that man? Who is that woman that must shift for God to come in? Shift now. Shift and let my God come in. Let my God come in. What is that thing? What is that object? What is that thing that must give way for God to have his way into your life? Let that thing give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. If it's you that must give way away from something for God to meet you, give way from it, from it now so that God will meet you. If that thing refuse to shift, you shift. If that thing refuse to leave you, you leave that thing. Go away. Go away. And let God take his place. Yes. And what is that thing I need to do to attract God's attention? Father, reveal it to me. What is that thing that God wants me to do for him in all that to trigger him to come and visit me? Father, open my heart to, to see my yeah, I don't see it. I help you to do it with all my heart. With all my heart. All my heart. You should not my woman. She pressed a button. And the Lord visited her. What is that thing that God expects me to do in order for my time to come? Lord, help to do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Say, Father, thank you for what you have done today, celebrating. I know the Lord has done something in my life. He has done something in your life. I want to say, Father, I thank you so much. I thank you because you have come to reposition me and my family. You have come to do something new in my life. You have spoken to me directly. It's me, Emmanuel, you have spoken to. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you. Give me praise. Celebrate it. on Facebook and everyone here that is IVF. I just want you to know that all things are possible before God. Amen. Of course. They say in old age. They don't know what they did. Amen. Amen. So that even if I can do that, God can even do better. Amen. You position yourself for God's station. That's all. Amen. I pray God will show the mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 That's the first step you must make. You must be born again for the Lord to visit you. You will never do anything with a rebel. The give not which is that is holy to the dog. Before God, you are a dog, you are a swine. Matthew 7 verse 6. Please, I want you to give your life to the Lord God Almighty this morning. I mean, afternoon over here. Surrender yourself to the Lord. Uh, if you do that, your way will be open. Every other thing will follow. They seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing that people are, are, are running after will come to you on their own. So please, embrace God today. If I've done that, please, I want you to also move a step further to get baptized. Uh, I want you to call any of the pastors on this ministry. <laughs> God, we use to baptize you to his glory alone in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Let us pray. Our most holy Father, we thank you. We bless you, worship you. We exalt thee because you have spoken to us again. Through your word, through revelation, you have come to encourage us this morning to know that you always have time for us and that we should also have time for you too to prepare ourselves for you. Lord, we have heard you. But this we cannot do on our own. My strength shall no more prevail. Lord, all power belongs to you. We ask, O oh God, that you that spoke to us, you still be able to position us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Many of us have missed it in the past. We have come over and over again. But from now on, Help us, O oh God, that all that we have missed, all will come to us now without enjoying them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, this one that don't come to you now, that just got born again, please, I want you to help them, strengthen them, give them the grace to run this race to the end, so that at the end we all can see you in glory, in victory, in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, I pray for everyone that you are giving my work of the Lord. Oh. Father, as you show me in that revelation, you, you gave every one of us job to be doing. Father, the choristers, 
the evangelist, whatever the, we all are doing, help us, oh God, to do it with joy. Help us, oh God, to do it for you. Because a day is coming, that job will be taken from us and it will be crown of life will be given to us. Help us, oh God, that we will not lose that crown in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I give you all the praise because I know from now on, our lives will never remain the same again. Amen. I pray with us, give us. First, Master Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, Son of the Most High God. Mm. The Almighty God that has spoken to you this morning. He will refuse every virtue that must have left you. Renew his strength in you. His oil upon your life will never run dry. And at the end of your journey, these ways will not be used against you. Rather, that crown, that exalted crown, that incorruptible crown, meant for you and everyone in this mountain, the mercy and the grace of God will stand for you, for you to receive it to his own glory in Jesus Christ mighty name. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, I did this hour. We thank God for the word of encouragement, the word of revelation, the grace for us to get positioned uh, for his divine visitation in any way we have missed it in the past. God Almighty, by his mercy and grace, we position us that no power will ever shift us away again in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It is offering time. Blessing time. We are grateful, Lord. You are wonderful, Jesus, God of mercy. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful, Amen. Amen. So, beloved, as we're getting close to the end of the, the service this morning, uh, please, could our beloved uh, brother, brother Joseph Johnson, please uh, stand for our monthly and yearly declaration. While the closing prayer by the grace of God shall be taken by beloved minister uh, Matthew Oluwadare, God bless you, Son Jesus Christ, mighty name. Uh, Lord God, we thank God Almighty for His grace, mercy, and faithfulness that always gather us before His awesome presence. His all by might, His all by power, is by His grace and mercy. Uh, he's never tired in speaking to us, so in that seed that we all need, that even as we run this race, we give Him glory and we rejoice with as many that God Almighty has brought. Maybe you are in Zoom here or you are in Google Hangout or Facebook. You are joining us for the first day. Uh, the God that have drawn you to His awesome presence will keep you to the end. So we, uh, we rejoice with you, even as heaven is celebrating you. And that God Almighty has started in your life, he will bring it to his own glory in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. So please, uh, in case you have need uh, to contact the servants of God in the mountain, maybe after this uh, meeting, uh, maybe for prayer requests, counseling, or for other inquiries, you are free to do so. You can always do this through our telephone number. And this number as well can be accessed through WhatsApp. If you are calling outside Germany, please do remember the international code of Germany, which is plus one nine. The number is plus four nine one five two double one double three four zero one five plus four nine one five two double one double three four zero one five. Please, we encourage you to visit our website. There, you'll be able to get acquainted with uh, uh, the programs uh, that are ongoing this mountain as well as the visions and missions of the ministry. So our website remains www.msrpm.org. www.msrpm.org. 
msrpm.org. May God Almighty bless you as you do so in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. So, people of God, by the grace of God, we shall meet in again at uh, 12 midnight uh, as our prayer watch continues. Uh, God Almighty will strengthen us and empower us to the end in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, please repeat after me as we say a monthly and yearly prophetic focus. I declare that the month of April. I declare that the month of April. 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 It's my month of uninterrupted love for God. It's my month of uninterrupted love for God. In complete holiness and true righteousness. In complete holiness and true righteousness. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. And I also declare that the year 2020. I also declare that the year 2020 is my year of steady and perfect work with God. In my year of steady and perfect work with God. In complete holiness and true righteousness. In complete holiness and true righteousness. righteousness. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. As we all declare, so shall it be in our entire family. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Let's pray. <clears throat> Our most heavenly Father, gracious God, wonderful God, <clears throat> we thank you, O oh God, for what you have done today. We thank you, God, for who you are. We thank you, O oh God, for your power, for your strength, for your mercy, for your grace, for always teaching us new things on this mountain that will improve our Christian life. We appreciate it, Lord. We thank you for never leaving us in silence, for always speaking to us. May our name alone, O oh God, be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, and we thank you, O oh God, because whenever we are not ready for your visitation, your grace and your mercy are positioned us, O oh God, for readiness for your visitation, O oh God. As your servant has said, may we not be shifted away from that position we, that we were supposed to be in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you, O oh God. For your servant who you have used today, O oh God, we thank you for using him, O oh God, as a honorable, holy vessel, O oh God, for your use. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you continually use him to edify the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For this day, you are brought forth for your grace and mercy. You have given us this day, O oh God, to have another opportunity to uh, fulfill our divine destiny. And we pray, O oh God, in any way that we have missed our uh, place in you, Father, bring us back to that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any virtue that has left a servant may be replenished back unto him a millionfold, a thousandfold, a millionfold in the name of Jesus Christ. The times of praise, O God, are blessed. Those who could not give or had the heart to give are also blessed as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. May your grace and mercy, O oh God, always abound in all our lives forever and ever, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Let's take the grace and finish. May the grace of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, Jesus, the love of God and the fellowship of thy Holy Spirit, rest and fight now and forevermore. And surely, surely, the Lord's goodness and his mercy is following us all 
all, all the good of our lives. And we all an entire family dwell in the praises of the most Beloved, in accord, let us the animal have the heart to say upon us, O God, in the name of the Lord God and Savior in Christ. We pray in the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us gladly give a wave offering unto God Almighty for whom he is and for what you have done, what he's doing right now and what he will do in our life and say, Glory be to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory be to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Love God, even as we are going now, by the grace and mercy of God, we are not going out of His presence. His mm -hmm. awesome presence will always be with us. His light Amen. of glory will encompass us, be a light unto our path, that we will not walk in darkness. And the grace for us to be positioned uh, for the manifestation of Almighty God all the days of our life, we will receive that grace today, now, and forevermore in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.